All right, friends, I'm going to take a break for a few days. I have left you with enough information to ponder. And for anybody that has made it to this far in the video series, I would say that it would be worth going back again and looking again. And now that you know where the fullness of this culmination has come to, I think everything else that I've told you thus far will make a lot more sense. And you'll be able to understand so much more if you go back again now with what you know. And for those of you who are new subscribers and even some of my older ones who did not take me seriously when I put this drawing up, this is what I say to you when I say that I'm a seer. This is a drawing that I did in 1991, all right? A decade before the two towers came down. And this whole drawing that you see right here is everything from the two towers event, which is right here, complete with the plane, everything that is about to happen to us. This is all in heavy symbol and detail, friends. Every last bit of it. This is the first cup that's already happened. You can even see the people jumping from the towers right here, okay? The mushrooms, they represent the two towers signifying people in them. There's a window here, and remember the smoke arose. These are the two towers. The mushrooms represent the illusion, friend, the fantasy that they pulled right over your eyes. This figure here, the villain, the super villain that they blamed it all on, who's reaching forth with these claws to attack. Notice he's got this crooked step about him. This S on his cape stands for Saddam Hussein. But wait a, wait a minute, friends. It stands for double. It also stands for Satan, the originator of this true situation. Now, when I drew this drawing, I didn't know what I was drawing. Remember, 9-11 had not yet happened yet. It was 10 years later. I was just simply drawing for a child. And all of this just came out. Now, of course, at that time, I had read Behold a Pale Horse by William Cooper, and I was well aware of the New World Order. As I told you, friends, I have known this all my life. All of my life, I have made myself capable of giving you this truth. The Spirit moves through those who are capable. I am capable. This is the second cup. This is heavily symbolic of everything. Here's New York City. The symbol for Batman. Remember Batman. Batman City is Gotham City. Gotham City is New York City, friends. Gotham City is New York City. New York City, Gotham City, supposed to be New York City over 200 years ago. Washington Irvin first called the city Gotham. Gotham City is fictional U.S. city appearing in D.C. comics, best known as the home of Batman. Twitter declares New York City is officially Gotham City. New York City to officially adopt Gotham City title, reported by Village Voice in 2008. I had no idea what I was doing when I put this Batman symbol here. I was just drawing drawing for a child and all of this came out now I knew the child didn't know what New World Order was and I did and I just kind of drew this vision I had friends here's the second cup fallen right beside the symbol for New York City and I will tell you already in another video I've done entitled 11 11 11 I'm a seer come see what I see it's on my channel you have no idea friends no idea how incredible this is and how I know that I'm a seer and how I know that everything that I have been shown is exactly as it says it is. Exactly. Even the plane has on beside it, assassin, just misspelled. I ran out of room to spell it. I don't even know why I was writing assassin. But then if you break it down, it's like 10 other words. As sin as sin remember when the sins reached up to heaven and then sin is the Sumerian moon god who's supposed to have four horns you have no idea friends this is the real deal check it out